Tasker's widgets now have a better editor. Check it out. First, check out the new look, which makes it much more pleasing to look at and much more consistent. Everything is now correctly aligned. Everything looks better. Unset options look like this. And generally, everything is much tighter. Now, I've added a few, a few new updates to the editor. To start off, you can see that now every single input has this option here, which allows you to select variables. If you click it, you'll see all your variables here, and then you can easily insert any variable you want. And there's also an easy way to select images. So in this example, I have a widget here which allows me to control the various lights in my house. This, is consist this consists of a scaffold, which is like a vessel to put other contents in, but that predetermines some things. For example, it has a title, which is up here, and then some content, which is down here. In this case, it's a two-column element. Uh, it's a column element with two uh, elements inside it, which are these two rooms, the kitchen and the bedroom. So, for example, if I go up here to the title bar and edit the properties, I can see that I can select the icon with this handy load image button. Here, I can select normal tasker widgets with something like this. If I do this, it shows up there. I can select from files, from URLs, or even the current wallpaper. So now you can much more easily use images in your widgets. You can also easily use colors now. So for example, let's change the icon color. Every, every single item that you can change a color on, this will now show up, which shows you all the predefined colors that Tasker has. So let's say I want to, sorry, I want to make the icon the primary color. It now uses that. Or maybe I want the error color, uses that. If I want any other color that's not here, I can go to more colors, then pick any color, and then even make it a bit transparent if I want to. Click OK, and there you go. It changes it. I can also much more easily now select tasks I, tasks I want to use for my widget. So here, I'm at the top element, top scaffold, and if I go to task name, and I begin typing a task name, so for example, I have a task called control lights, I can see that two tasks match this string I entered here. But if I click one of them, it becomes selected, and it's the only one that truly matches. Just to show you another example, if I write this test, it fully matches this one, so this one is selected, but all of the rest also partially match, so they show up here. So you can easily click any of them to, easy to select them directly. But in this case, Let's select the control lights task. So after I select this, the task name is set to control lights. There's an, there are other uh, few enhancements. So for example, you may notice that there are two rooms here in my widget. What if I want to add another room? So for example, I can copy this room, paste it, and there you go. Another room was created. Now all I need to do is go in here, change the title of the bedroom to something like bathroom, and then change the icon. I can load a local file, for example, this one. and the bathroom is created. So now you may be asking yourself, hmm, but how can I make this bathroom 
part control different lights from the bedroom. I simply copied pasted it, right? Well, there's a new way to do uh, to control your tasks now too. So you may notice that this top scaffold here is using the task called control lights. So this, since it's the top element, will make every single element on this whole widget always call the control lights task, unless you override it in a child element. But by default, now every single element on this widget will control the will call the control lights task. Let me just show you what the control light task does. All it simply does right now is flash the variable room, then number, and then par1. I'll show you what these are in a, in a bit. So let's get back to the widget. As I was saying, the top element always uh, makes this all this widget always call the control lights task. But if I go into each of these, which are the which are the rooms, so for example, scaffold this first scaffold is the kitchen, as you can see by the title bar. And this one, you can see that I set the room variable to kitchen. So everything inside this will be will have the room variable set to kitchen. So if I click any of these buttons, this variable will always be set to kitchen. And likewise, if I go into each of the lights, for example, light switch one, the interaction says that number one, the, the number variable is set to one. So if I click this, the number, the variable called number will be set to one. If I go to the second light switch, you can see that number is set to two. So what this does is in this kitchen part, room is always set to kitchen. And in each of the lights, number is always set to the number of each light. So now if I click this, you can see that the task was called with kitchen, one and true, and true or false is the state of the switch, which uh, sets the par one variable in the task. So the task is called, the name is set to kitchen, and the number is set to the light number. The same for bedroom. So if I go back all the way to the top, and then I'm going to the second one, which is the bedroom, as you can see by the title bar, the room is set to bedroom. So if I click on each of these, room is set to bedroom, number is set to two because I clicked number two, and so on. So now you may understand what I need to do in this bathroom one that I just copy pasted. I copied this from the bedroom one, so the room is, set, is still set to bedroom. So all I need to do is set to this to bathroom. And now all of these, all of these inside the bathroom will always send bathroom. And here bathroom as well. So you can see how easy it is to change a whole section of the widget to do the things you want by simply changing these variables here, sorry, here, to the values you want, and then for each element, change the variables for those elements. And all of this, with one single task called control lights, that simply receives the different variables depending on where you put the elements. So this makes task calling super, super easy now. Well, the last thing we need to do now is just save this, go back, and this is another new feature. If I run this, since the widget doesn't exist yet on my home screen, I can now simply drag and drop it there. When I run the task and it doesn't exist, it asks me to add it. I make it the size I want. And it's done. Now I can control all my lights directly from my home screen. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.